Okay, last and not, uh, but not least, I would like you to complete a syllabus quiz. The questions are not hard and I just want to point out some key things. I've had to implement this because I have had several students in the last couple semesters um, come back at the end of the semester and complain about the grade that they received or the late policy and things like that. And so I'm using it as a way to help you identify things that are important on the syllabus, but also as a way for me to make sure that you fully understand the expectations of the semester during the first week. The quiz has unlimited attempts, so if you get a six out of nine on the first attempt, you can retake it over and over and over again until you get 100. And I would expect you to do that. So there's no reason that anyone cannot um, score 100% on all of the getting started activities this week. Um, just to point out on your syllabus, it will explain how your grade is calculated. And there are skills-based assignments, vocabulary quizzes, a midterm exam, and a final project. Canvas activities and professionalism are basically compiled from the week one activities. So 10% of your grade comes from successfully uploading a profile picture, answering if you have questions or if you're comfortable getting, navigating the course, introducing yourself to the class, in three to five full sentence uh, paragraphs and taking the syllabus quiz. And so very easily you can earn 10% of your grade. If you did none of those, the highest grade you could earn in the class would be a 90%. So it's a really easy way to get those, that 10%. Okay, that wraps up the first, the first module. And so it is my expectation that you will complete all of those things and you will submit them preferably on the first day of the semester, and then you can move on, you can start on module two. Um, but at the very least, they are due at the end of the first week of the semester. The reason that they're due at the end of the first week of the semester is because attendance is required in all classes at Salt Lake Community College, and especially in the visual art and design department, we have an attendance policy um, for on-campus classes. If you miss 20% or more of a class, you forfeit your right to pass the class. Um, with that being said, uh, the enrollment in ART 1200 and ART 1280 in the last few semesters has really skyrocketed and people are on the wait list trying to get in. And so as instructors, we have to drop students who don't come to class so that we can make room for those who are on the wait list trying to get in. For ART 1200, that means that if you're taking this as an online class, you must complete activities 1.1 through 1.4 by the date posted. So in the fall 2017 semester, that is by 11.59 p.m. on Saturday, August 26th. Um, if you're taking this class on campus, it means that you must, you, you must uh, come to class during one of the first two class periods or you risk being dropped for lack of attendance. I'll also send out an email 24 hours before I drop you to remind you about that policy. If you have any questions, please let me know. You can email me through the Canvas inbox or at jcarn5 at brewmail.slcc.edu.